Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Ashik Salim from Informatica GCS and in this video we will see how to test HTTPS connection for SCP connector in Informatica cloud. These are the topics we will be covering in this video, the purpose of the utility, the steps for this testing and a live demo session. So moving on to the purpose of the utility, it is to test an HTTPS connection for the SAP connector. So we know there is a test connection option available in the Informatica cloud. But even if we do the test connection, it might show successful, but it is actually just testing the, uh, whether the connection will be successful to reach the SAP system. It's not actually validating the certificates. So it's not validating the HTTPS connection properly. So this utility is to do that test connection. And in case we are getting any error during the runtime, it will give more clarity on the errors and we can get more info to connect it. So these are the steps of using the utility. So these steps are explained in detail in the KB as well as I will be going through it this in detail during the demo. So just to be brief about it, we have to download the utility from the KB, then copy that along with the JKS file which we used for the connection, uh, which we used during the configuration to the look, uh, agent JRE bin uh, location. Then run this particular Java command and post that we have to create an RFC in SM59 transaction of the SAP system and in that we have to do some configuration then we, if we do the test connection it will show us the correct results. We are moving on to the live demo. So this was the KB I was referring to. In this you can see as a file attached it contains the Java Java file which we will be using for the testing and the rest of the steps are also, also explained. Uh, so this is the connection for which I wanted to uh, do an HTTPS connection test. So you can see I've maintained the HTTPS connection to true, the key store location I have given, the key store password I have given and the private key password also I have maintained. So these are the ma mandatory for any HTTPS connection. And if I do a test connection here, it will show a successful, but it doesn't necessarily mean that HTTPS connection is successful. Moving on to the secure agent machine. So you can see this is my JDK JRE bin location in my secure agent machine. And I've co already copied the JKS file to this location. So it was placed in a different location. I just took a copy for copy to this location for the testing purpose. And also I have copied this HTTPS sample jar. So this is a jar file that is um, attached in the KB. Then from the command line, We have to run a Java command. So the command I've copied it here. It is mentioned in the KB also. So this is the command Java jar HTTPS sample jar. That is the name of Java file. The JKS file name. That is the JKS file we are using for the connection. The uh, private key. So that is a private key value, and then the port number. The port number where we want to start the service. So if the port is not free, it will show a port error. If the password is wrong. Uh, sorry the private key is wrong then it will show the pri incorrect private key so for this command to run this port needs to be open this file shouldn't be corrupted and the private key should be correct so i'm just copying it and running it in the command prompt You can see uh, there is an issue with my but the pass key I have passed, so it is showing incorrect. And one more thing you have to remember is this password, the pass key is case sensitive. So you can see now I've given the correct password, the process have started and it is running. Now uh, we have to uh, go to our SAP system. We're going to the T code uh, SM59 where we can create an RFC of type G that is HTTP connection to the external server. Before that, always remember, uh, like verify that your particular certificate is already uploaded in the S Trust. So we're not going to give the certificate manually. We are going to use the certificate from the S Trust so that remember to upload it in the S Trust first. And this test need to be taken care of after all the initial configuration is done. 
so you can see the only thing I'm doing is that I'm giving the target host that is my host name of my security agent I'm giving the port number where the services have started and in the logon and security usually it will be this will be inactive so I have changed to active and given the default SSL client certificate standard now if I do a connection test you can see the connection text is successful and if we go for the response body you can see hello that means the connection from SAP to Informatica the secure agent server through HTTPS is successful if we go to the secure agent server we can see all those details also so it has already stopped you can see the circuit class the protocol the cipher suit all those details similarly let me show you an example of like what will be the error message in case of we are running through it so if I go back so I'm just going to edit this connection so instead of the host name I'm going to give the IP here I'm just going to save it and if I do a connection test you can see the connection refuse message the connection refuse message means like the service is not even up so I'm just verifying so my IP was wrong so that there was not even a service to go to that's why we saw a connection refuse message now if we do a connection test, you can see SSL handshake has failed the error is the cert the certificate does not match supplies supply target host name so we know in CN we'll give the host name and as you saw in Estras, the host name was given instead of the IP so if I give the IP this particular error message will come this is expected behavior and as I mentioned like this test will help us getting this particular error message also so that we can correct it that concludes the demo of this test utility you can refer to this KB for more details on the test utility as well as to download the test utility and you can refer to the product documentation on how to configure the HTTPS properly. We would love to hear your feedback on this support videos as well as the other support videos. At support, you can contact us through support videos at informatica.com or through our Twitter handle. That is all for this video. Thank you everyone for watching.